In this video, we will talk about the interview module on Usabit. Let's quickly talk about the layout. On the left hand side, you can see a timeline of interviews. The timeline contains all interviews that are scheduled or have been conducted within this project. On the right hand side, you can see interview groups. Interview groups are useful when you want to ask different set of questions to a different set of people. For example, you might have a set of questions that you have prepared for marketers. You might want a different set of questions for interviewing engineers. In this case, you would create two separate groups with respective questions and participants. Let's look into an interview group. Here, you can see all our participants on the left and the list of questions on the right. This layout allows us to easily perform single case or cross case analysis. For single case, just click on a participant and you'll see all the responses in one place. For cross case, click on a question and we can see all relevant responses in one place. This view also generates a handy word cloud to quickly bubble up patterns of words mentioned in the responses for this question. Managing questions at the group level affects all interviews within the group. For example, adding a question to the group adds it to all interviews within the group. You can also manage questions at the individual level by clicking on Manage Questions from the Participant menu. The interview module is designed for in-person interviews. However, in some cases it is tough to get a hold of the person that we want to interview. For those rare cases, Userbit has the ability to send out self-interview links. Clicking on Invite for self-interview generates a unique link for this participant that allows them to answer questions in their own time in a survey-like fashion. The self-interview page is mobile-friendly and the participant does not need a Userbit account to access it. Interviews are great for actively collecting structured qualitative data. Let's talk about gathering and organizing unstructured data in our next video.